Hi, Missy K. The Book Fix here. Today my review is of Leviathan Wakes by James F.A. Corey. James F.A. Corey is actually two people writing together. One of them is James, uh, George R.R. R. Martin's assistant, and that's part of the reason that they got a blurb from him. He, he calls it a kick-ass space opera. But I'm going to have to say that I agree with him 100%. I don't think that he was really influenced greatly by the fact that he knows the author so well. I think that he really recognizes that it's a great book, because it is. I picked this book up because I heard that this book, or maybe the series, I'm not sure, there's only two books out in what is planned to be a trilogy, but this book is going to be a short series, a mini-series, I guess, on the Sci-Fi Channel, and it sounded intriguing. There are two main characters in this book. One of them is Miller. Miller uh, grew up on the asteroid belt in a large asteroid called Ceres that was spun mechanically, so there can be some form of gravity there. And uh, he has lived his whole life on the belt. He was born on the belt. He's never been to any of the, um, what they call the gravity well planets. So Earth, Mars, Luna. He's never been to any of those places. Um, he is a detective. He uh, has this one case that intrigues him and he just follows it and follows it and follows it even after he really shouldn't be following it anymore. And that is what leads him to find out crazy, crazy secrets that I'm not going to tell you what they are because you should read it. And the other main character is Holden. Holden um, is a, the XO of an ice mining ship. And he was born on Earth, but he has spent many of the last years, I'm not sure if it says exactly how long, but a long time out on, on ice mining ships. So he's very used to belter culture and belter life. And they are both really interesting characters. Miller is kind of the noir detective, and Holden is kind of a... Uh, a guy who doesn't always follow the rules, but always follows his conscience. And I saw someone's dream casting for this, um, because I don't think any actual casting news has come out about this series, but I saw someone's dream casting and they said that Holden should be played by Nathan Fillion. So ever after I, ever since I saw that, I could only picture Nathan Fillion in the part, and he is, he's very, he's similar to Mal in a lot of ways, but also different from Mal in some ways, so I would love that, but, you know, whoever they cast, I'm sure it'll be a good show, as long as they put enough money into it, because there's a lot of special effects that would have to happen, so hopefully they put enough money into it. Anyway, it's really hard to talk about the plot. I mean, I told you about the characters, but it's really hard to talk about the plot because it's so involved and I don't want to spoil anything, but basically it's really great. Um, it's super intriguing, especially because you have a prologue at the beginning that kind of hints at what it is, but doesn't tell you anything. And it's almost to the end when you figure out what it is. It's like three quarters of the way through when you find out what they actually were talking about in the prologue. So it's pretty interesting. I highly recommend it. And I'm totally going to watch the show when it comes out.